Welcome to Homestead Gardening in the Texas Gulf Coast. I'm Kristen Howard and today I'm going to show you how to propagate a fig from a cutting. Fig trees can be easily propagated from a cutting, especially if cuttings are taken from the tree in winter when the tree is dormant and has lost its leaves. Select a branch about pencil width or slightly larger and cut just above a leaf node. Make sure you have at least five leaf nodes on your cutting. Then scrape the ends of the cutting on two sides to expose the cambium layer. Fig cuttings may form roots at the base of the cutting, along these sides, or at any one of the leaf nodes. Some fig varieties are easier to root than others, and I like to give my cuttings as many root locations as possible for better success. To tell my figs apart, my next step is to label each variety. Labeling is important for me because I want to find out if one variety of fig will root better or faster than another. Next year, I want to make sure I'm only taking cuttings from varieties that are easy to root and grow. I created a sterile soilless medium using perlite and peat moss. By using hot water, the peat moss could absorb the moisture quickly. And my final product was a mixture that was moist but not overly saturated. Next, as an optional step, you can use rooting hormone or dust your cuttings with cinnamon. I've rooted fig cuttings with rooting hormone, without rooting hormone, and with cinnamon, and I didn't really notice a huge difference between these options for root growth. But cinnamon can be used as a natural fungicide that can help prevent root rot when you're rooting your new cuttings. So I chose cinnamon for this video to reduce the chance of mildew which frequently occurs when I root fig cuttings. I used a larger bin with a lid to root my cuttings. This prevents the cuttings from being damaged as they are rooting and saves me a lot of space. A heat mat is a good option, but it has pros and cons. The warmer temperature of the soil and humid climate the heat mat will create forces root formation much faster, but you may also have more mildew on your cuttings with the climate you're creating inside your container when you use a heat mat. After 15 days, many of the Celeste fig and Texas Everbearing fig varieties formed roots somewhere on the stem. Other varieties were less successful, if at all. Once your cuttings form a branching root system, you can begin potting up your cuttings. Be very careful when potting newly formed roots. It's best to create a pillow with the soil for the roots so they aren't damaged during the potting process.
gently water and set the rooted cutting in a location that does not receive direct sunlight until more roots have formed on the plant. A common problem that occurs during the rooting process is overwatering. If you notice your soil stays moist for too long, your plant may not be growing enough roots. I took a risk to investigate this by removing the cutting from its pot and found that I needed to repot it into better draining soil. By nine months of growing, this plant had to be repotted into a larger container and had grown considerably in a short period of time. 